Hello. Welcome to this Advanced Steel 2021 tutorial. Today I will show you a new tool, Cut at Object. First and foremost, activate Model View of Grid AA. Then change the current view from isometric to front view. And change visual style from conceptual to 2D wireframe mode. Switch to 2D drawing. There are two diagonal bracing H240A beams on grid A. We are going to add these beams into 3D model. Now back to 3D model. Right click on L, plus 5000 icon and select deactivate option. Select home tab, and then select roll dissection icon at object group. Select node option on the context menu. Select the first node. Then select the second node. And right click. When advanced steel beam dialog box display. Select section HEA 240. Then switch to position tab. Select the radio button allow the insertion axis go through the gravity center. Now let's divide the screen into two vertical viewports. And then change the right hand one to isometric view. And change the visual style from 2D wireframe to conceptual. By the same procedure. We are going to add one more diagonal beam on the right side of the column at grid 4. This beam starts from node at intersection between grid 4 and elevation 5000. To the node at intersection between grid 5, elevation 800. Then right click to show beam dialog box. Select positioning tab. Then select the radio button that allows the beam rotate around the insertion axis 90 degree. Exit the advanced steel beam dialog box. Now we are going to create a joint connection at intersection between grid 4 and election 5000. We are gonna to use the create by template tool. To copy the joint connection between column at grid 2 and H220A beam on election 5000. On 2D drawing, this is a double moment end plate connection. Back to 3D model. Select Tools Group on Advanced Steel Tool Palette. Then select Create by Template Tool. Click on the end plate as connection part selection. Then right click to change to next step. Now select column at grid 4 as the main beam. Then select the H220A horizontal beam on elevation 5000 as secondary beam and press enter to finish. As you can see, we have just copied moment end plate connection from grid 2 to grid 4. We need to remove this bottom stiffener. So now right click on bottom stiffener, and select advanced joint properties from context menu. A moment end plate dialog box will be displayed. Then select stiffeners tab, and then select bottom stiffener category. Uncheck create bottom stiffener option. Now we are going to cut the diagonal bracing beam H240A. Now select Tools Group on Advanced Steel Tool Palette and then select Cut at Object Tool. Then select Horizontal Beam as Cutting Tool and press Enter and then select Diagonal Bracing Beam H220A to cut and press Enter. Do the same procedure with End Plate as Cutting Tool, but nothing happens. 
because the cutting tool width end plate width is smaller than diagonal bracing beam so that we need to extend the end plate width at least equal to the diagonal bracing beam's width now right click on end plate and select advanced joint properties from context menu in order to make it easy Let's create a model view at this joint. On Advanced Steel Tool Palette, select Quick Views Group, then select Quick View on Joint Tool. Then select the Joint Box, and then select the Front View Arrow Symbol and press Enter. And then press Enter three times to keep default view depth extension. In order to get the right position for the right viewport, we are going to use by using Rotate UCS around X, Y and Z tool. And change the left viewport from front view to left view. And change the view style from conceptual to 2D wireframe mode. Now right click on end plate, and select advanced joint properties from context menu. On moment end plate dialog box, select plate and bolts tab, and then select horizontal bolts category. Then input 10 into 6. Edge distance and 7, edge distance field. Now switch back to 3D model, and navigate to the left viewport. Activate the cut at object command. Then select end plate as cutting tool and press enter. And then select diagonal bracing beam and press enter. Now we are going to adjust the bottom bolt rows position. First we are going to check the bottom bolt rows position in the 3D. The distance between bottom bolts row to bottom flange of the horizontal beam is now 60. And the intermediate distance is 65. Now right click on end plate. And select advanced joint properties from context menu. On Moment End Plate dialog box, select Plate and Bolts tab, and then select Horizontal Bolts category. And change number of row from 3 to 2. Then change the bottom intermediate distance from 65 to 60. Now check the bottom bolt row distance 1 again. The distance between second bottom bolts row to bottom edge of the end plate is now 205. Now right click on end plate. And select advanced joint properties from context menu. Select plate and bolts tab and select Plate Layout Category. Then type 205 into 7, Edge Distance Field. Back to Right Viewport. And check this distance again. Now we are going to add the third bottom bolt row by bolts, anchors, holes on Plate Tool. On Advanced Steel Tool Palette, select Custom Connections Group, and then select Bolts on Plate Tool. Then select End Plate as Main Plate and press Enter, and then select Column as Connecting Objects and press Enter. Type 1 into X Field as Number of Row, and Type 2 into Y Field as Number of Column. And then Type 122 into Intermediate Distance and Type 200 into Offset Belong X Axis Field.
Now back to 3D model and check the distance between the third row bolts and end plate's bottom edge. So we need to move it down 63 mm. Now right click on third bolts row and select advance properties from context menu. Then type 263 into offset along X axis field. Back to 3 model and check this distance again. It must be 60. 60. Check the diameter of the third bottom bolts. It must be equal the bolt diameter of the moment end plate joint. Now we are going to copy the this joint from left side to the right side. On advanced steel tool palette, select tools group. Then select create by template tool. Then select end plate as connection part and press enter to go to next step. Select column at grid 4 as the main beam and press enter. And then select horizontal H220A as the secondary beam and press enter. Right click on right end plate and select advance joint properties from context menu. On moment end plate dialog box. Select stiffener tab. Then stiffeners category. Then select none option in stiff at top and stiff at bottom. Finally select cut at object tool to cut the right diagonal bracing beam. Thank you for watching and see you soon.